What's up? I'm Gus Kenworthy. I'm an Olympian and professional free skier, and you're watching Teen Vogue. I have had like the grossest messages. Like, boys are bad. <laughs> it's been a lot of support. I mean, I've had like some hateful comments and messages also, but you kind of have to just take it with a grain of salt. I was expecting to get a little bit of that, and it's been overwhelmingly supportive. It's been way more positive than negative. When I decided to come out publicly, I know I kind of wanted to do it in a magazine article. That way I could kind of get all my thoughts out there and have a writer who kind of understood my point of view and be able to put it into words better than I could. And I chose ESPN just because uh, ESPN sponsors the X Games. It's the biggest event for our sport and they've just been longtime supporters of free skiing and action sports. And I had a personal relationship with Alyssa who wrote the story, so it just seemed like the right place. So for me, the magazine cover was kind of like my public outing, but I, I, I had already been out with my family and with a few close friends, and that was the most important thing for me, to let those people kind of know in advance, just because, I mean, obviously, I knew they were gonna be there for me. My mom was the first person in my family that I told that I was gay. She was staying with me in Denver. She was asleep on the couch, and I had like been pacing back and forth. Like, I was like, I need to say something, and I wanted to say something, and I thought she already knew, kind of, but I ended up just waking her up and was like, can I tell you something? And she's like, yeah, of course, what's up? And I was like, I'm gay, and I just started crying so bad, but she was so supportive, and she's like, oh, I know. I was like, okay. Moms always know. I don't think sports is necessarily an unsafe place to come out, but I think it's a scary place to come out just because there haven't been a lot of people that have walked that path previously, so you don't have very many footsteps to follow. Our sport and kind of where you are in the sport and sponsors and everything like that is so based around your image and your public persona and your social media following and kind of how you portray yourself that I was just scared that I was going to be kind of risking those things and kind of making myself vulnerable in a, in a bad way by coming out and I, I realized kind of the opposite that it's it strengthened it. Everyone seems really really supportive and I, I've been blown away actually by how great everyone's been. For me the best thing about being openly gay is just not having to be ashamed of anything and not having to worry about people finding out anything or worry about what I'm going to say, if I'm going to say the wrong thing, if I'm going to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. I can just do exactly what I want to do and, and be true to myself and I think that that's like the most freeing thing that you can have is just kind of living authentically. I just feel like I caused myself so much pain by closeting myself for so long and I, I look back and I I just wish it was something I, I could have done sooner and I think I would have saved myself so much heartache. So I feel like if you're in this position, like I would encourage you to try and come to terms with yourself and embrace it because it's not really, there's no point being ashamed or upset about a part of you that you have no control over and I think once you can embrace it and you can start letting people know and let your guard down a little bit, you'll be blown away by how much better you feel. It's, it's a huge weight off your shoulders. It's, it's such a relief and get on with it.